If my blood lineage includes witches, herbalists, midwives, but my rituals don't work, does this mean that I am a failure? Does my work in the medical field count as the acceptance of the gift? Can I consider Hermes as my proto-source? And how can I establish a contact channel with him? I'd like to thank you that you happened in my life. I have no idea what would have been if I hadn't come across you on the internet. Thank you, Allah, for the kind words. Everything happens as it should, and at the right time. If people are meant to meet one another and exchange information, they will do so, especially if they are guided by forces. In your case, it appears that you have such guidance. A different story is this concern of yours as to why the gift doesn't manifest itself in the exact form as it did with your ancestors. Well, first, let's get this straight and distinguish between what's an issue and what is not so as to avoid any possible misconceptions, so that you don't get upset for no good reason. You have an ancestral gift, that's great. But, in addition to this gift, you also have an individual one. And your individual gift may not necessarily mean that you should cure or heal. Your gift may be quite different, perhaps entirely mathematical, where you might develop some new medical drugs or chemical formulas and not just chemical ones. But one way or another, those would be the formulas to produce new drugs. You will sort of be connected with medicine, but it won't be the kind of healing that your forefathers did. It could be related to magical abilities to bring, for example, alternative knowledge into the system, which is actually a great gift as well. Few people have it. That is, a magical gift doesn't have to adhere to a certain form. It's the form that conforms to the magical gift, and by no means the other way around. The fact that you chose to pursue a career in medicine, as if to continue that line, is quite natural, given the fact that you live in this era, where it's both appropriate and comfortable to heal. Sometimes relying on the already established institutions, formed institutions, although it gets harder each and every time, since these institutions do not, in a way, presuppose freedom of creativity for a healer, and a healer cannot approach her patient with a World Health Organization checklist. That's nonsense, it's out of the question. That would be a government official, not a healer. First off, a healer has to look at the person and at their connection to the ailment and proceed with healing considering these two factors. No differently. So, the reasons as to why you can't apply this form to your gift are insignificant. It's just that you have to find the right form for your individual gift and then build your ancestral gift into it as an extra power that will help you develop your individual gift. Because a magic gift is more of an individual phenomenon rather than an ancestral one. Magic is individual 99% of the time, rather than being a mass phenomenon. Now, concerning Hermes, yes, you can. If you feel that there is a connection with psychopomp, then you surely can. As well as with Asclepius and with Hermes and their soul escort capacity, absolutely. Once again, this connection is also very individual. And if you feel a relation to Hermes Mercury, establish a connection with him. It won't be difficult for you, because he, as well, is the guide of souls. And he also has a relation to human life, to health and the health of the spirit, which in many ways defines the power of the healer. To what extent the healer is able to heal not only one, but also the other. Good luck with your practice.